President Biden told his top military leaders in a meeting on Wednesday to shoot down that Chinese spy balloon transiting over the U.S. as soon as possible. The president heard advice from military leaders who warned that shooting anything down over land, over ground, could pose a risk to American lives. So ultimately, the president heeded their advice and waited to have this balloon shot down until it was over the waters on Saturday afternoon. President Biden was briefed on those final plans Friday evening, and ultimately, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin gave that final go-ahead shortly after noon on Saturday. Now, the president was flying on Air Force One from Syracuse, New York to Maryland, and was on the phone with his top officials as this operation was under Way. And here's what he had to tell reporters about the considerations given to that decision. On Wednesday, when I was briefed on the balloon, I ordered the Pentagon to shoot it down on Wednesday as soon as possible. They decided, without doing damage to anyone on, on the ground, they decided that the best time to do that was when we got over water outside within our within 12 mile limit. They successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it. And we'll have more to report on this uh, a little later. Thank you. Because the one thing about China, what's the message to China? You, you were saying the recommendation from your was from your national. I security. told them to shoot it down. On oh, Wednesday. On Wednesday. But the recommendation. They from said it. to me, let's wait till the safest place to do it. Republicans were quick to criticize President Biden for not taking steps to down this balloon sooner. Republicans have argued that this is a sign of weakness in the White House's approach towards China. But the White House has pushed back, saying that this was a responsible action for a commander in chief to take. They are arguing that what the president was trying to do was prioritize saving American lives. Now, there are lawmakers on both sides of the aisle who are calling for briefings and.